The Ministry of Finance of a hypothetical country, Macroland, asks us to use the information in this table to explain what accounts for the projected increase in Macroland's public debt to GDP ratio. Note the following. The public debt stock at the end of 2019 was 100 million Macroland pesos and 50% of the 2019 GDP. Nominal GDP increased from 200 million macroland pesos in 2019 to 210 million in 2020. Thus, the nominal GDP growth rate is 5%, of which 1% is the real GDP growth rate and 4% is the GDP deflator growth. During 2020, the public debt stock is projected to increase 19 million, therefore, the public debt stock at end 2020 is projected to be 119 million or 56.6% of GDP. Thus, during 2020, the public debt ratio is projected to increase 6.6 percentage points from 50% to 56.6%. This increase in the public debt ratio by 6.6 percentage points can be explained by two effects. First, the effect of the change in the public debt stock, which can be computed as the change in the debt stock divided by the 2020 GDP. This effect pushes the debt ratio up by 9 percentage points. Second, the effect of the change in nominal GDP, which can be computed as the 2019 debt ratio multiplied by the 2020 growth rate of nominal GDP and divided by 1 plus this growth rate. This effect of the change in nominal GDP pushes the debt ratio down by 2.4 percentage points.